When this happened to me 10 days into my hardcore world, I know two things were going to happen. One, I was going to need a new change of pants, and two, this was going to be a really hard challenge. This mod pack is Fear Nightfall, where anything and everything will try to kill you. It is both the scariest and the hardest mod pack I have ever played, topping RL Craft for me. With 40 minute days and 20 minute nights, doing 100 days was not going to be any walk in the park. So whoever in the modding community thought it would be the funniest fucking idea to just play creeper sounds while you're fucking mining is actually despicable. Not only does this make it worse because I was playing in hardcore and creepers can literally one shot me, but it didn't scare me not once, but twice within the same five minutes. Oh my fucking god, twice in a row. Cherry on top, oh after the couple of fake ones, the game decided to send a real one after me, thinking I wasn't going to be looking. From having to keep your sanity up or the game spawning in more mobs to kill you, or creepers deciding forced entry was a better option, this mod pack was really testing my limits. After barely surviving the night from the onslaught of creepers bombarding my house like a SWAT team, my little cabin was left in shambles, so I already had to find a new place to live. Looks like I gotta relocate. And so I built myself a nice little underground bunker that got me past a couple uneventful nights and it proved to be pretty successful at not letting mobs in. And so thinking I had a safer spot to sleep at night, I decided to check out some other mods, go mining, get some, get, maybe get a farm going, you know, the traditional shit. And taking a tactical approach to mining, I decided to section areas off in the mine and open them up and section them off further up as I was going through as to clear out these areas of the mine. You know, make it safer so mobs couldn't bum rush me while I was mining. And this method proved to be working out fair. I even found a little diamond there, and till it was a fake, so that was a little disappointing, but I was still getting good iron, good enough to get myself a full suit of armor, and being generally alive. But my good old friend Hero Brian here said he had other plans and didn't like I was doing so successful on one of my first few tries in this game, so he decided he had to kick me down a peg or two while I was mining. After seeing this, I think I genuinely shit myself, like, I had no idea something three blocks tall would decide to crouch down into a one block tall space to come whoop my ass. You all already know what happens next, so I'm just gonna go on to the next world. That's right, this was world number one. Now after just dying to Walmart SCP-096, the game was like, nah, Alaska, good luck. Now after doing some exploring in the barren landscape that is Alaska, I decided to ask some of the locals that were underground for some directions on where the hell I should go. They told me that not too far away from them is a castle that I could probably set up refuge. Now why I would ever trust a zombie, I don't know, but there was a castle, so that's a plus. Now while I was running around secure and lighting some places up, it was a good castle, and look, it even had a skeleton horse. Very lovely skeleton horse. But I soon found out that the previous owners never let the children out of their basement. And that if this was going to be my home, I was going to have to clear them out. And yeah, I had the armor and the weapons to do so, but it was, it was turning nighttime. I had to clear up and, you know, set up my own little room to survive the fucking 20 minute night. And not knowing that this basement would be my downfall, I decided I would go down and give the kids a lesson so they would hopefully quiet up while I was trying to sleep. But even after the beating, the kids grew ever restless, and I really needed to see what was going on down there. And I did not like what I saw, especially when one decided he was trying to fish me in there. And as night became day, I decided it was time to get rid of my downstore neighbors when... You remember that fishing line? Yeah, this isn't a really good thing, you know. Let's just say I was already done with this world. <sighs> Six times the charm, you know. Now, I should have known that six time wasn't the charm because as soon as I spawn in, I found a house and I met a witch with the fucking will of God. 
Now after running around for five minutes trying to get resources while running from her, I finally got a wooden sword and was able to get rid of the endless witch hunt I was having. Hell dude, all you had to do was leave me the fuck alone. Now due to her endless pursuit, she was no longer in need of her residence, so let's just say it has now become my residence. After spending the whole day into the night getting resources and enough wood to turn this into my new home, I was doing pretty well. I was enjoying my nice new, very luxurious witch cabin when I once again found out creepers no longer need consent to blow up. I knew immediately that when it was daytime, I needed to get enough resources to turn that undercroft underneath my house into my new basement so nothing can go underneath me and take out my floor while I was standing on it. After contributing to global ocean pollution level and getting enough cobblestone to finish up my basement, I got to meet Aquaman, who wasn't too much of a fan of the pollution I was putting in the ocean. After almost dying while running to my house Fuck. like a little bitch, Fucking God, fuck that. I decided I wanted some revenge for him almost sending me to my seventh world too soon. God damn. Now done with that problem and my basement coming along pretty nicely, I was feeling as though creepers weren't going to be an issue for tonight. I was just going to put a nice walled barrier around just in case. Is someone mining in my fucking house? I don't like clowns. And I hear one. You better not be fucking mining down there. Asshole. Who the fuck is mining? What the fuck is that? Look at that thing, dude. Y'all are a bunch of dicks. I can't wait for it to turn daytime for you to fucking burn. What is that, though? I'm going back to my attic. Fuck that, dude. I'm gonna wait till daytime. With the sound of mining driving me actually crazy and seeing a giant mutated monster, I did not want to take my chances with finding out what was mining. With it now being daytime, I was able to successfully eliminate all the outside mobs within the own comfort of my basement. Fucking creeper to let it in. Yo, 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 ch 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 Killing those mobs earlier in the day gave me a great idea. What if I opened it up and just made it where I can farm mobs there during the night? But the game had other plans. It did not like that I was able to farm mobs, and decided to teach me a lesson that if I would fuck around with mobs, I would find out a new mob. This was the fever dream. I never got to actually see what it looked like, or kill it and see what it drops, because it eventually just disappeared after I backed up from a creeper and walked away when the zombies decided to break down my door. After this very narrow encounter, where I barely was able to patch this up, I decided that was enough fucking around for tonight. But apparently I have already fucked around too much, and the game decided it was now time to show me what the mining sound was. What the fuck is that noise? Assholes. While trying to fix up the hole that was just now exploded, I was trying to clean up some stragglers when another creeper decided I needed a bigger hole. Fuck off with the exploding, dude. 
And now into day four, I decided it was time to get some resources, and I was going crazy thinking and thinking I was hearing something mining, because this game will just play mining sounds off in the corner while you're underground. But, turns out, I wasn't going crazy this time. When I was done clearing out the zombie and the skeleton, I decided to follow their tunnel into a nice Come little dickhead. cave that I found that actually had some iron, which I was needing because I didn't have the any iron, at the though. time, so I went through and I explored this cave. Hey. Hey. Chill out just a little bit. I'm here for iron. Not death. And for once in this mod pack, I actually got what I wanted. I was able to just grab the iron that I was able to see up close and through this little nice entrance, and I was able to just get out right after that. I didn't want anything else to do with this cave because I learned my lesson from the last cave I went in. The rest of the day, nothing much really happened. All I did was set up some storage up in the attic and do some sorting of the chest, so I was able to have a nice, clear inventory and, you know, understand where everything was. But the following day, I guess my cockiness got over me while I was clearing out the mobs in the morning, and when I went outside, I kind of fucked up a bit, and I'll just let this play out but if you guys want to see me actually finish a uh, 100 days in one world, then let me know in the comments. Give me a couple likes or something. You know, give me a sub if you enjoy this content. But I, I really do want to do a 100 days challenge on this mod pack. It's just a hard as fuck mod pack. That shit was unequivocally not bussing. You're gonna fucking burn to death now, losers. Damn, my frame rate's ass. God damn. Y'all wanna come take a fucking bath with me, dude? Like, shit. Works for me, man. Works for me. Come on. Don't kill me. Oh, that's bullshit. So yeah, if you like this video and you enjoy this video, please leave a like. Please sub. It all helps out the channel. Thank you all for watching, and peace. You got that right. Motherfucker!